such as this runway, very little engine power is required. It's also best to minimize the use of brakes to prevent unnecessary wear and heating. Hot brakes can easily ice over after takeoff as the aircraft climbs into colder temperatures at altitude. Press the spacebar key to proceed. Press right control plus enter to open the controls indicator so you can monitor the position of your flight controls. Pull the control stick aft of center and hold it there to keep the tailwheel locked for taxiing. To practice taxi control, we will use a lead car to take you through a short taxiing course. The car is now waiting in position to your left. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to begin. The car will now drive forward at about 10 mph. Add a little power to begin moving forward. Use the numpad plus and minus keys to control the throttle. Use the Z and X keys to control the rudder pedals to turn left and right. Use the W key to depress the wheel brakes as required. Zigzag from side to side as you follow the car through the course. Try to stay between 100 and 300 feet from the car. Don't worry, if you get too far behind, it will stop until you catch up. Don't get too close either, or the driver will panic from fear of being turned into mincemeat and will stop. The car will now turn onto the taxiway to the right. The car will now turn left to come around onto the taxiway leading back to the runway. Moving on, we'll now make a left onto the runway.
We'll now make a right turn onto the apron area to turn around to face the runway again. This is a tight space and will require some care. You may need to unlock the tail wheel to make this turn by pushing the stick forward. When the tail wheel is unlocked, use differential braking to control your turn. Press left shift plus W to use the left wheel brake and left alt plus W to use the right wheel brake. 